You know, right, how you got involved in this life? Well, I didn't grow up in it, but my father uh, got into quarter horse racing when I was a kid for like a couple of years. And uh, we caught the bug and went, you know what they say, once you get bitten, it's hard to, it's hard to free yourself of the, the, I don't want to say malady, it's just, it gets into you and you want to be a part of this, this life. And you know, what's some of the good horses you've been around in your uh, career? I've had a couple, uh, probably the first one that comes to mind is Texas Red. He's the first real good horse that I had. Grade one winner, first grade one winner, won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And he was only a $17,000 purchase, so I'm pretty proud of him. And we had good horses to follow him, like Exaggerator and Decked Out, and hopefully more on the way. And you know, who was a mentor for you early on? Mentor. Uh, well, I started, uh, I, I finished up an equine degree at, a, at Louisiana Tech in, in, in uh, Ruston, Louisiana. And my first job on the track was in Maryland with a guy named Tommy Cavanagh, just a few months. And then I went on to a guy named Charlie Hadry, who was a legend out there in Maryland. He, claimed, he trained uh, uh, private terms and horses like that. That's where I got my start on the track. So if I had to name a mentor, it would be him, Charlie Hadry. And, 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 and you know, right, what made them old timers so special? Well, work ethic, you know, it's another day and age uh, uh, compared to the 80s and 90s when I came on to the track. Their work ethic was just unbelievable. Seven days a week. Matter of fact, I knew I was going to be a trainer when I started as an exercise rider on the track. And the one thing I said as when I go out on my own, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out it figure out how to implement a day off a week, a man, man and beast. Man, it, needs a day off a week. I'm sorry. I don't care what the old timers say. A man needs a day off. And that in, and like I said, the horses need a day off too. So I did it. And uh, uh, yeah, you got me a comparison work ethic compared uh, in this day and age compared to them and then. And we've changed it up a little bit, but maybe we're not as dead set on the fact that a horse needs to get out and train every day. And you know, can you, do you remember any of them old time black grooms that was under the show road back in the day? First man comes to mind is, is Bo. I wish I remembered his name, but uh, we used to, man, that was the glory of youth. We used to get up at four and five in the morning, work all morning and play basketball at night. Can't do that anymore. But Bo's my man in Maryland. And of course I got several friends and uh, guys that used to work for me here in Louisiana. Norris Green worked for me for years. He's still on the track. I think he's 75 years old, still grooming horses, but he just loves it. And uh, Sherman Savoy and, and guys like that were uh, just good friends and uh, adds to the, 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 the coolness of the culture here in Louisiana. And what made this track, the fairground, so special? History. History, good horses, history. The surface, if you want to get in the technicalities, is the best in the country. Yeah. Uh, horses get sound here. Uh, the weather's irreplaceable. Yeah. Um, horses just do well here. Yeah. And the history of good horses that run through here is probably what uh, makes uh, fairgrounds stand out. People enjoy coming here. And you know, which horse that came through after the years that just was a horse that was like, for you, was like, wow. For myself or just, someone it, else? It don't even matter. It, it, it just that horse that had that wow factor for you. For myself, I mean, on my my own personal Texas Red. Like I said, I'm repeating Texas Red. He's a he's a difference maker in my life, and he was a running son of a gun. So, seventeen thousand Grade One winner, over two million dollar earner. It's hard to forget ones like that. The real players inside the backstretch, right? How important is the men and women? That do this job oh, every day. Man, that's an understatement. You can't, you can't. These horses take a lot of time, a lot of work. You know, to the people that think we're uh, uh, not unethical, but not an acceptable business in this day and age, they need to understand how well these horses get taken care of. Fed three times a day, sponge baths, massaged, stalls cleaned. They taken care of. Better. They live better lives than most humans. So. Uh, 
people need to understand that and to get taken care of that way it takes manpower and these guys are strong and uh, dedicated love their job and uh, couldn't do it without them. a whole lot of love yeah